Hey everybody, today I want to talk a little bit about this camera right here, the Olympus Trip 35. If you're not familiar with this camera, it's kind of the evolutionary step between like a rangefinder and the modern point and shoot that's fully automatic that you find at a thrift store all the time. Meaning that while it looks like a nice rangefinder and has a nice lens in it, I really like the lens on this camera. Straightforward with that. It's pretty limited in what you can manually do for settings. So you pick your your focus based off of these four icons for infinity, group of people with the full body, group of people from the top of the body, and headshots. Or if you're really good at estimating distance, you can focus scale focus off the, the bottom. So when you go to take a picture, it's mostly expected that you're gonna have it set to this A mode for automatic. And then what the camera does is it chooses between either a 140th shutter speed or a 1 200th shutter speed and then picks the proper aperture for that. But you have no control over if it's gonna use a fast or a slow. Generally, if it's brighter out, you're gonna get the 200th, and if it's slower, you're gonna get the 140th. But it also, if you notice, it does allow you to set a specific f-stop. Now, as the, it says right on the ring here, for flash use, what it does is it kicks the camera into the slow 140th shutter speed, and then is expecting you to do whatever calculations your flash unit has to determine the aperture that the flash is expecting. So what this does is it does provide a little bit of manual control, say 1 40th at whatever you set it on here. Maybe for slow indoor uses and you've got your light meter and you can meter, that's 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 probably enough. But what if you're outside and you want to use that 1 200th and then set your own damn f-stop, like you don't trust the meter in here, or maybe, maybe your meter's broken and you can't even use the automatic feature so you're walking around the handheld. I want to show you a trick that I learned a long time ago on how to force this camera into using the 1 200th shutter speed while having the f-stop set. As I just said, when it's, when it's set to this and you take a picture, you get the 1 40th shutter speed, which sounds like this. But we want the 1 200th shutter speed, which sounds like this. You know, you can pair them side by side, you can see that the 40th has a little bit beat to it, while the 200th is like one, one tap. How do we get that on any shot we want? Here's what we do. The first thing you want to notice is that the, the shutter button just kind of, there's a lot of play to it. You can push it down pretty far before it actually exposes. So what we want to do is first make sure that the camera is set to the automatic A mode and then we just take our, our shutter and you push it down pretty far. Not so far that it clicks the picture but all the way far. If your meter works you can also put your hand over it which will bring up a red flag and will physically prevent the shutter button from taking the picture. And then once you have your shutter and you're holding it down just take the, take the aperture ring and rotate it into the numbers. You'll now notice that the the button is a lot tighter and taut. It doesn't have that play that it used to. This means we're primed and ready to load. You click that now and you get one two hundredth of a second. You hear that? Oh nice. And the cool thing about this hack is that it will usually stay into the, the fast speed as long as you don't drop this back into automatic mode. So if it's a nice sunny day, you can get your settings set for what happy sunny day settings are and just pop, pop. Be a street photography god for a while with the Olympus Trip 35. And as I said, like once you once you roll it back, it resets. You'll, you'll be able to, you'll see this kind of jump and you'll hear a ping when it goes back to the A mode. And now the camera is back to fully automatic mode or shooting at 1 40th in manual. Neat little trick. Not guarantee that this works with every copy of this camera out there. If some mechanics inside are a little worn out or some springs are worn, it might fail. I have seen it where sometimes when it's set to the 1 200th aperture mode that like bumping the camera or just even changing the the aperture will cause the ping and the shutter button to be a to have the play again so so you kind of have to learn how it feels and just you know make sure that it's actually going to happen but it's pretty pretty obvious when it doesn't engage so there we go if you have an olympus trip 35 try this little hack with yours and let me know in the comments if it works and if it doesn't yell at me in the comments and make me feel like a worthless person but whatever 
yeah, just go subscribe if you haven't, because I do all sorts of weird camera stuff and photography stuff. Who knows, maybe I'll even open this up and show you how the exposure thing works, because it's pretty cool, actually. But, eh, whatever, end of video.